So, in today's news, Gary Lineker has decided to house a refugee in his mansion and fulfill the wishes of every right-wing person on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, everywhere. Because every time you mention refugees, every time a left-wing person or any anything slightly sympathetic towards refugees and migrants is said on social media, the right-wing people seem to pop up and say, well, why don't you house those refugees then? If you wanted me so badly, why don't you put them in your house? Well, Gary Lineker is literally doing exactly that. And now the comments have changed to, why doesn't he house our, house our homeless? Why does he house our homeless veterans? Hmm. Seems your attitude's changed. You seem to have wanted us, left-wing people, to house refugees in our homes. Bear in mind that a lot of us haven't got space for more people in our homes. A lot of us don't live, we don't all live in million pound mansions like Gary Lineker. We don't all have millions in the bank. A lot of us are working class people. Gary Lineker has literally done exactly that. He's gone and housed a refugee. You should be ecstatic. You should be, the thing you've been calling for, for years on social media, it's happening. And now, you just want to change the subject and be like, well, why don't you house our homeless? Why don't you house our veterans? Why don't you house our homeless and our veterans? You cry about it so much. Every time there's a there's a slight change, a slight rise in, in foreign aid, or our government does something that might slightly benefit a migrant or a refugee, it gives them 37 75 a week, which, by the way, is a five a day. Um, you cry about it and you say, what about our homeless? What about our refugees? You always go on about our homeless and our veterans and our people, which is fine. But here's a, here's a crazy thought for you. Because we are, as much as you won't admit it, the left are fighting for those people as well. We do want to help those people as well. No left-wing person has ever said we want to help migrants and refugees over the homeless and the veterans that were born in this country. We want to help them all. But the fact of the matter is that the refugees that are coming over, they're coming over and when they arrive, they immediately become they, they become a problem, for want of a better word. And they need to be dealt with and they need to be given emergency shelter, emergency accommodation, emergency food, 37, 75 a week to live on. So that, that threat, that, that issue is there on the beaches the second they rock up homeless person is in the street every single day and we all walk past him this is why nobody is in the papers for being homeless this is why nobody is in the media for being a veteran and serving in the army and coming home and not having a home because those people are already there they're there continuously the media can make a big sensation out of boats on the shore and make it seem like it's a big problem we house 0.05 percent of the world's refugees that is a fact google it france takes much more than we do and yet the comments seem to range from send them back to france france is taking loads so is every other country across europe dozens of countries across europe are taking loads of refugees in we're getting the back end of it and we're whining the nation that is so obsessed with the second world war and the dunkirk spirit when given the opportunity to actually cross a sea and help people everything's there the beaches the seas the boats it's all there for you to fill out your little nostalgic fantasy world war ii wank do it help them and if you want to make comments about our homeless and our veterans don't make it about when it's about refugees make it all the time because 100% fair play to you if you're talking about homeless people and they should be housed. They 100% should, and they should get food. They 100% should. But don't only raise it when refugees are popped up. Raise it every single damn day. That is your responsibility. Not to use them as a weapon against the people who want to help refugees. It's absurd. It's like talking about animal warfare and then going, well, what about this other issue? Well, you can do both. You know, nobody's saying you can't. You can do both. Seems that every right-wing person becomes something of a socialist when refugees are brought up to a degree. They become almost socialist. But let's help the homeless. Yes, let's. Fantastic. Great news. I'm glad, I'm glad you want that. But then as soon as you say, yes, actually, let's help our homeless by raising our minimum wage, by taking 
empty houses that have sat in landlords' pockets for decades, taking them off of those landlords and using them by building more homeless accommodation. Oh no, that's socialism, you can't do that. So whenever you actually have an opportunity to help our homeless and the homeless veterans and the homeless in general, you don't want to do it. But you want to use the homeless and the homeless veterans and everyone else as a weapon. And that to me is disgusting. You don't get to use other human beings and their situation and their, their plight as a weapon to bash migrants with. That's despicable. You should be ashamed of yourself. And now that Gary Lineker, on someone on the left, Gary Lineker to me isn't, isn't even really left wing anyway, and it seems to me like he's using this this as a, as a, as a media publicity stunt thing, almost like when you go and feed somebody homeless and you take a selfie and you put it on your Instagram. Don't do that, you're a dick. That's what it seems to be like with Gary Lineker. He seems to be doing it for, for effect. He seems to be, to be more of a liberal who wants to be seen as somebody who wants to help the homeless and wants to help refugees and help migrants. When in effect, he's not really doing anything a lot, really. And it's purely for publicity. You take somebody like Akon. Akon, I'm not a fan of his music. Obviously, I'm a metalhead. I'm not a fan of that, that type of music. Akon is literally changing lives in Africa by bringing solar power, by bringing water filtration, load, just go and Google what Akon is doing in Africa. It receives very little media attention. Gary Lineker has housed one refugee, boom, it's all over the papers. And this is where the distinction needs to be, to be, to be made between left-wing people and liberals. Keir Starmer is a liberal, he's not a left-wing. He's not a leftist. Talk to a leftist hear what their views are and don't get all knee-jerky and get all hyperbolic and making it about you don't want to house our refugees and our homeless and our, our veterans yes we do but we also want to house the people that are coming over fleeing a region which we helped destabilize Gaddafi warned that if anything happened to him Europe would be flooded by migrants was he wrong because according to the right wing Europe is being flooded by migrants. He said it himself. Anything happens to me, Europe will be flooded by migrants. Easy as that. Stop destabilizing countries in the Middle East and in Africa and installing dictators and tyrants and overthrowing governments that are democratically elected whenever you want. Stop selling arms to everybody. The problem will stop because people will, will become more stable in their lives in the Middle East and Africa and they will stop coming. It's that simple, it really is. You think people are coming over on dinghies, risking their lives, risking being caught by people traffickers and smugglers and drug dealers and, and, and bandits, and risk being shot and risk being capsized and drowned in the ocean. You think they're doing that for 37, 75 a week? Give your head a wobble, seriously. It's not what they're doing it for. They're doing it because the only reason they, you, you would ever put a boat in the water with your life on it is because the water is safer than the land.